Dr. Salkin in Beverly Hills. We have our lovely, beautiful patient. She already looks good. We're trying to make her look even better. It's not fair to the rest of you out there. Just joking. She has beautiful eyes. Look at her eyes are gorgeous. What we're going to do is enhance by improving her eyes. She has a little bit of skin laxity. Close your eyes for a second. She has a little bit of skin laxity. You can see how much I've marked about 10 millimeters on this side, 10 millimeters exactly on the other side. She has a little bit of a fat pocket here. Those two I'm going to take out for her. You can see when I press her eyes, how it bulges out. So sometimes in the mornings, it bulges out and stuff. In the eye, in the upper compartments, you have two fat compartments, medial and middle. The middle I like to keep because I don't want to hollow her out. But the medial, when it's bulging out like that, I like to take out. Now as she opens her eyes, her lowers, what we're going to do is, we're going to open from here, take out the fat pockets, close your eyes. In the bottom, there are three. One, two, three. The lateral, the middle, and the medial. So we're going to go in there and take out the three pockets. Now you have to be careful who you go to for the lowers. Lowers are tougher than uppers because you can't reset too much skin. Whenever I want to reset skin, open your mouth. I have the patient open their mouth, look up, and then that determines how much skin I can remove. You have to use that technique or else you'll become short in skin and your eyes will droop. So be careful out there. We're going to do her case. It's going to come out excellent and stay tuned. A little less, a little less. I wanted to see it's a big piece of skin that's removed, but it all shrivels up. So we're taking a good amount of skin from her. But, but you see the amount of skin, you see how it shrivels up after I take it out? So I don't want you to think she's not getting a good amount of skin removed. It's the perfect size for her. Everything has to be appropriate. We're going to bring that, you see, I marked it right here, that bulge right there. That's what we're going after. We're gonna get that fat out. She's gonna look younger, more beautiful, if that's possible, with her gorgeous green eyes. So she's feeling a little pressure. That tells me I'm in the right position because this this medial fat does have some pain fibers that she's, she feels the pressure of me pulling on it. So I know I'm in the right place. That's most of this is just my excess numbing for her because she is very sensitive. Turn your head towards me a little bit more. Perfect. There it is. Look at that. It's, it's trying to come out by itself. See that? She feels a little pressure, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. I'm going to numb it up for you again, sweetie. Mm -hmm. You see how this is exactly where my mark. So you see? 
It's just the tissue. Perfect. Perfect. Beautiful. The continuous suture that I just pull out when the patient comes. You see, it's all continuous. It slides. It's a special suture. It slides right out. Even in the thinnest part of our body, we still have fat under our skin. Anywhere under your body, anywhere where you have skin, you have to have a little bit of fat. Mm -hmm. The fat is a lubricant which allows the skin to slide and open and close. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a fat, your skin will stick to the muscle underneath. So even in the eyelids where it's so thin, you can see a very small layer of fat. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. <laughs>